Today the topic of discussion is in C output based series of our videos we will discuss operators precedence and their associativity. So let's start with operator precedence and associativity. So you have given one question and without having knowledge of operator precedence and associativity, you won't be able to solve this question. I'm, I'm very sure. So let's start the question it, though it looks simple but it's not a simple question. So let's start with the question. The question says the value of i is 0 i plus plus is less than 7 minus plus plus i. So in this case you will be confused do I need to solve this and then compare with 7 or I have to solve this and then then first decrement dec decrease or subtract this value from 7 and then compare so this is what confusion is all about. So in that case such type of questions are always solved having a proper knowledge of precedence of operator. So let's see in the diagram this might look be uh, the font of this particular uh, portion might be very small as compared to the uh, left side portion but as the space is very less so let's start with uh, I, I'll explain you what this so the highest precedence is of post increment and decrement we'll discuss only these operator we'll discuss only these operator so highest is this then we have this in second number we have pre increment and decrement this so first post second this third we have plus and minus so this is the third so third will solve this so first will solve this second will solve this third will solve this and fourth will solve this fine so keeping this uh, precedence in mind let's solve the question now start so we have a block i having value zero fine okay while this is post increment so post increment will be solved first but what is post increment increment after operation first so the value remain will be zero only so zero will be compared with whatever answer you will get but zero will be there fine the moment you move from here to here this value will become one though this will have only zero but i will become one then first was this second pre pre increment so i will get incremented the the current value of i is one one plus one will have become two so the current value of this i will become two so third operator is this minus so 7 minus 2 is what 5 is 5 is 0 less than 5 yes 0 is less than 5 so one time how many times hello will be printed so one time hello will be printed fine okay now what will happen will again so I will again jump here so we'll again jump here current value of i is 2 I will not increment this because this is post increment operation first increment afterward so post increment 2 but here the value will be incremented to 3 then second operator is pre increment 3 plus 3 will 3 plus 1 will become 4 so the current value of this will come 4 7 minus 4 will be 3 is 2 less than 3 yes condition true again hello will be printed fine again I'll go here again I'll go here fine so this will become 4 fine so I will not increment here I will increment actually here because operation first so for the moment I'll come from here to here this value become 5 so this is pre increment this will become 6 so 6 minus 7 is 1 is 4 less than 1 no condition become false so I'll come out of the loop so finally 2 times hello will be printed so answer will be 2 so answer is true yes except absolutely so answer is true so i was very right so the answer of this particular code will be the answer of this particular code will be two so hope you have understand what precedence is all about so the highest precedent is of post then of pre then of minus then of in decree in this less than sign fine so this was uh, the method which you need to apply now you can change these things by yourself and solve the question you will get the proper answer so hope uh, you like the question. So at last I'll say thank you so much.